All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi Deluxe Version Movie Masterpiece Series 478. Hot Toys figure, guys. Very, very cool. Got the Deluxe Version. Just got it in a couple of days ago. So I thought I'd go ahead and set up my diorama and everything because well, you know we're going to do a diorama with this thing, guys. We're going to get a look at the box. We're going to open it up, get a look at the figure, the articulation, all the accessories, guys. You know the drill. So guys, let's get a look at the box. So getting you guys a look at the box, we have a really, really cool banner that spreads around the uh, front cover of the box, which is absolutely awesome, guys. We also have a very cool deluxe version uh, sticker, it looks like, uh, that gives you all of the uh, additional accessory that comes with the deluxe version, uh, which is really, really awesome. And then of course we have a depiction of the uh, figure right here with the sword lit up. Very, very cool, very awesome guys. Star Wars, uh, Hot Toys, and uh, Movie Masterpiece Series, guys. Very cool stuff. Let's get a look at the side of the box. Getting you guys a look at the side of the box, guys. And we have a really, really cool, as I said, banner uh, that spreads across the uh, front cover of the box, guys. Uh, and uh, you have Obi-Wan Kenobi posed there with this saber. Uh, just really, really awesome stuff. And I really enjoyed this box, guys. It is really, really awesome. And then, of course, we have Star Wars. And then we have our Obi-Wan Kenobi movie masterpiece series. On the back of the box, guys. again, we have our movie masterpiece series 478 Obi-Wan Kenobi deluxe version, hot toys. And then of course, all of our legal information and warning information, very cool stuff, guys. Excellent, excellent box, guys. I really enjoy the banner. Let's get a look at the other side of the box. And then on the other side of the box, guys, again, we have our movie masterpiece series, 478 Obi-Wan Kenobi Deluxe Version 6 Scale Collection Series figure, guys. Really, really cool stuff, guys. So we're gonna open up the box, get a look at all of the contents on the inside, and then we always get a look at the inside box art for our Hot Toys figures, guys. So we're gonna get a look at that right now. All right, you guys, and getting you guys a look at the inside box art, guys. Absolutely awesome box art, as always with your Hot Toys figures, guys. This is really, really cool. So of course we have Obi-Wan Kenobi in his signature pose with the two fingers, guys. And then we also have Obi-Wan Kenobi looking at the hologram of Anakin's turn with the Emperor. Very, very cool, which is one of the accessories that comes uh, with this particular figure. We're gonna get a look at all of that stuff here today, guys. So really, really cool stuff. And then on the other side, you also see Obi-Wan Kenobi holding what I believe is Luke uh, in his hands uh, just before he drops him off uh, with the Lars uh, at the uh, Lars Farm, guys, on Tatooine. So uh, really, really cool stuff, guys. And then, of course, we have our, again, movie masterpiece series information just underneath there. Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, really, really awesome stuff, guys. All right, guys, and getting you a look at the contents on the inside, guys. And I don't know if you can actually see it uh, with the glare, and I do apologize for the glare, guys. But obviously, we're going to pull all of this stuff out. But I wanted to get you a look at the contents as they are presented in the box, guys. Uh, so we obviously have Obi-Wan Kenobi there. Uh, we have uh, the several different hand positions there, uh, which is really cool. And then we also have the accessories that are off to the side. Here. We have the infant Luke Skywalker there. Uh, and then we also have uh, Anakin and the Emperor hologram images. And then we also have the uh, hologram uh, projector right there as well, guys. So this is really, really cool stuff, guys. We're gonna get a look at all of this stuff.
Very cool. All right, you guys. So we got him out of the box, and he is looking absolutely amazing. Very, very cool looking figure, guys. So uh, we're going to get a really close look at him, guys. Uh, as you can see, I put him on my custom uh, platform here that I made for this diorama here, guys. So let's get a closer look at this figure. All right, you guys. So getting you a preliminary look at the figure, we're going to pull him a little bit closer to the camera in just a moment, but just getting a first look at the figure here. Uh, absolutely awesome robe. Nice lining in the robe, guys. On the inside, you have a very cool lining on the robe. I don't know if you can see that, um, but he is really looking good. Uh, the tunic is very clean very nice uh you have uh, a nice burgundy color with the boots here uh which is really really awesome there guys so uh can't say enough about this particular figure and then of course the face sculpt uh is looking absolutely amazing guys so we're gonna pull the robe off this figure real fast here guys so let's go ahead and pull that robe off and get a better look at the so figure. we've removed the robe from the figure and now you can see more of the detail on the figure the pouches on the belt uh, you get to see the tunic uh, and the under tunic very 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 nicely detailed here on this figure guys i cannot say enough about this figure uh, it does come with the light up saber uh, i haven't lit it up just yet because i kind of want to save the battery for the diorama uh, but awesome looking figure guys. So I'm going to pull him a little bit closer to the camera so we can get a better look at the detail on this figure. All right, guys. So getting you a better look at the detail on the figure. Uh, again, the face sculpt is really, really nice. Just really on point. Excellent detail all the way around. The detail in the saber hilt really really nice the hair as you can see it's nicely sculpted just a nice job on the tunic and the detail on the belt it's a really nice job here by Hot Toys very very impressed with this figure here, guys, right out of the box. He looks awesome. And then of course you have his signature finger pose, which is really, really cool. And then again, the detail in the boots Really nice job here by Hot Toys. All right, you guys. So getting you a look at the articulation with the figure. So, so the figure's going to go straight out for you like so. You get an elbow bend that's about that far, which is really, really cool. It's going to go out to the side for you like so. So that is absolutely awesome. And then, of course, you do get the twist in the wrist right there. The rotation in the arm it's very very good he's gonna go not all the way around 360 but pretty good up and down and back and forth that is really really good guys in the leg area he's gonna kick out for you like so so that is really really cool you're gonna get a knee bend that goes that high which is really awesome he goes back about that far so that is really cool he's gonna kick out to the side like so so that is really really good your twist is at the thigh in the ankle area he's gonna go down for you like so up for you like so uh, there is a twist in the ankle so you can adjust the ankle as needed so that is really cool stuff there of course, he can turn back and forth, left and right. So that is really, really good stuff. 
in the ab area, he's gonna go down for you like so. So that is really, really good action in the ab area. And then in the head area, he's gonna look down for you like so. Look up, nice range back and forth. Little bit of a twist in the in the head so you can Give him that little confused look, but really really cool. All right, you guys So we're going to get a look at the accessories for the uh, face So let's get a look at the additional accessories with this figure So as you guys can see and I hope you can tell that the figure does come with a lit saber hilt arm uh, I do have the saber lit at this moment, so that is really cool and a very nice feature to have with any of your Jedi uh, that you get from Hot Toys or Sideshow. So uh, really cool, very, very nice feature right there. And getting you a look at the Battle Droid Destroyed accessory, guys. Really, really awesome accessory right here. So you get a couple of pieces of a battle droid that is sliced in into three different parts uh the main torso part of the head and then of course the arm including the weapon as well really really cool accessory guys with the deluxe version of this figure and then uh, of course you also get the uh waving saber sword effect uh, which is really cool once you have the saber lit up and everything. So that is really, really awesome, guys. So let's get you a closer look uh, at the different pieces of the uh, droid destroyed here. Very cool stuff. So getting you guys a look at the torso, that is just really, really awesome stuff right there with the torso uh, being destroyed there. That is just so awesome, the inner workings uh, of the uh, torso of the droid. Uh, and then, of course, you have the uh, other side, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the, uh, the arm right here is not uh, articulated, nor do I... Uh, I don't think the neck is articulated either. Um, but, you know, who cares? Uh, just the effect alone is really, really awesome. Then, of course, you have the head here as well. You have the uh, side of the mouth, which has been taken off by the saber. That is just really good accessory, awesome effect right there. Nice attention to detail. And then, of course, it's been taken off at the neck. So really, really cool. And then, of course, you have the weapon and the arm here. And that little saber effect right there. But then again, there's your weapon. From the battle droid that is really nice attention to detail and again a very nice accessory piece to have with your figure so they went all out with the uh, deluxe version here and then getting you guys a look uh, at the uh, lit saber and the uh, waving saber effect there guys just really really nice addition to include with your figure here all right, you guys. And then one of the other accessories that comes with this figure is the communicator, as well as the hand position to hold the communicator, uh, which is really, really cool. So as he's walking through the Jedi Temple, uh, searching it out, uh, trying to find out what's going on after Order 66 has happened, while Yoda is in the other part of the temple, he's communicating with Yoda with his communicator. So let's get a closer look at the communicator, guys. All right, guys. So getting you a closer look at the figure holding the communicator. He's speaking into it. It's really, really cool additional accessory. And then, of course, you have that specific hand position that holds the communicator and we'll get a look at the other hand positions for the figure as well getting you guys a look at the communicator very nice attention to detail especially on such a small item so that is really really awesome and a nice addition to your figure guys really really good stuff there and then here, guys, you have your different 
hand positions for the figure guys. And then of course you have the regular arm uh, that does not have the lit hilt uh, attached to it. Uh, of course I have the lit hilt on him right now. Uh, and then of course you have your uh, force wielding hands here. Uh, you have your, uh, I believe the other saber uh, holding hand uh, if you're going to uh, have him hold the saber. Uh, you also have it there as well. Uh, you have uh, an open hand here. Uh, you also have another uh, open hand and then the two fingers uh, right there, guys. So uh, lots of accessories. Uh, definitely this particular figure is well worth the cost just from a standpoint of the uh, how many accessories that you get with this figure. And then, of course, guys, as always, you do get a very, very cool stand. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars there. Really, really cool stuff. And then you usually get with your deluxe version uh, some kind of pattern uh, or whatnot. Uh, this definitely seems to be uh, some, uh, the uh, flooring from Mustafar there. Uh, so that is really, really good stuff and very, very awesome. And then, of course, you also get the... Uh, figure holder as well uh, that holds the figure uh, in place on your so shelf. So in addition to the uh, Mustafar flooring that you get with the stand, you also get the uh, Sands of Tatooine as well uh, for the stand. So uh, that is a really cool and nice addition to the uh, accessories here. All right, you guys. And then getting you a look at the baby Luke accessory a really really cool stuff here guys uh again uh hot toys is pulling out all of the stops here uh so we're going to get a look at baby luke uh, there's lots that you can do with this uh you can put this in, in a tatooine setting uh have him hand over uh the child over so to the bar getting you a closer look at uh baby luke um just awesome attention to detail i love uh, what he's wrapped in. Um, it's just really, really nice looking. And uh, of course, the attention to the uh, face on the uh, infant is uh, just absolutely awesome. The coloring is awesome. And uh, some just a molded piece, guys. There's no articulation to it, obviously. Uh, the head doesn't move. The child doesn't move his hand or anything of that nature. Uh, it's just a really, really nice molded piece and a very cool diorama accessory to go with your 1-6 scale Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith figure. All right, you guys. And then last but never to be least is the hologram projector with your Emperor Palpatine and Anakin Skywalker, the turn of Anakin Skywalker to Darth Vader. Absolutely awesome. This is the crown jewel of this particular set right here, guys. So um, after all of the accessories that you uh, see with this particular figure, you might be happy with everything uh, that you saw prior to this. But to get this particular item with this set is just absolutely off the charts, guys. This is really, really cool. So let's get you guys a closer look. Getting you a look at the table, guys. Just really, really cool stuff. Absolutely awesome. You get really, really good lighting that really shows off the two figures that come with it. You get your Emperor Palpatine there. It's really, really nice stuff there. And then, of course, you get your Anakin Skywalker just basically submitting himself to the Emperor. And then getting you a look at the rest of the projector table. Really, really nice attention to detail. It's a really cool accessory. I mean, you cannot go wrong with the deluxe set. It is 
absolutely worth the cost. Really cool stuff there, guys. All right, you guys. So uh, there are uh, a couple of things that I actually forgot to mention uh, in regards to accessories here, guys. So uh, we're going to get a look at the uh, additional hilt that you get. Of course, you get the additional hilt uh, that uh, is unlit, uh, but it is very cool. And it also has this uh, little hole right there that you guys see right there. Uh, you can place a screw. There is a screw, is a screw that comes with this uh, accessory uh, that you screw in there. And then you can use that screw to uh, hang onto the belt. Uh, there is a little uh, area on the uh, belt of Obi-Wan Kenobi where you can uh, hang the hilt of the saber. Uh, when it is not in use uh, on the belt. So uh, that is really, really cool and very awesome. And there is a look at the uh, hilt itself right there. So really good attention to detail with the hilt. And then of course, there is the uh, additional screw that I spoke of uh, that you would place in the uh, that hole right there. Uh, that connects to the uh, belt for Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, when the hilt is not in use. So really, really cool. And uh, again, uh, excellent, excellent accessory package with this figure, guys. Just they, they thought of everything. All right, you guys. So we have all three of the Obi-Wan figures that I own in the 1-6 scale in my collection here today, guys. So we're going to get a real close look at all three figures just as a comparison, guys. So let's get a closer look. So getting you a closer look at all three figures, we have our Alec Guinness version. And then we have a combination of the Alec Guinness version and the prequel version right here so really cool so there are all three figures guys of course the one in the middle is the mythos obi-wan kenobi just got him in about a month or so ago really really awesome figure so very happy to have all three versions of Obi-Wan in my collection. Very, very cool stuff there, guys.
right, you guys. So there he is, Obi-Wan Kenobi movie masterpiece series figure. Absolutely awesome deluxe version, guys. So you get all of the accessories that you see here. You get the hologram table. You get the two holograms of Anakin Skywalker and the Emperor. You also get the robe. You get the three different pieces of the battle droid that is destroyed. And then of course you also get baby Luke as well. And then of course there are some other accessories. You get the lit up hilt as well. The waving blade uh, effect as well with this particular set guys. So you get a plethora of accessories with this particular figure guys. Absolutely awesome stuff guys. But please let me know what your thoughts are. Is this figure what you would think it would be for the deluxe version? Uh, have you picked up this figure? Do you plan on picking up this figure, guys? Please let me know. Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you always.